Hello everyone, this is Jared Harding with the Office 365 Sales Ninja team here at AT&T. Today I'm going to show you how to share files and folders, set permissions, and create groups within SharePoint Online. Our first step here is to log into your Office 365 account, which I have done here, and click on the Sites tab. Once we are in our Sites portal, click on the desired site that contains the data you wish to share. I'm going to click Team Site here. This is going to bring us into our AT&T Team Site. Now in order to share a particular file or folder, you're going to want to click on the menu button just to the right of that uh, particular file or folder. Uh, once we are in our menu, we can click Share, and we can invite people by entering their names, their email address, or choosing everyone. Uh, we can also set uh, editing or view only capabilities and requiring a sign in or not. Once you've completed these fields, you go ahead and click share. The same process goes for if you want to share a fo uh, folder. You can go in and click the menu button, click share, and then you'll be able to enter in just as you would before. If I want to share this site as a whole, I could simply go up here to the top, top right of my screen click share and again would be able to invite users by entering their names, email addresses, or choosing everyone. If I wanted to go in and create groups and set permissions I would simply go up to the right of my name and click settings and click shared with followed by advanced. This is going to give us a list of all of the groups within SharePoint uh, and we can go ahead and start editing these by simply clicking on the particular hyperlink. We can see here within the owners uh, portion of SharePoint we have a list of four and if we wanted to add new users into uh, this SharePoint group we would simply go to new, add users to this group and we would be able to add by entering names, email addresses or choosing everyone once again. If we wanted to remove users we could simply go into actions and remove users from this group. Now if I click back and go back into my permissions tab, we can cre actually create a brand new group. We go up here and click create group, and here we would want to just type a name and description for our brand new group. I'm going to choose a group owner, and then give the group permissions for this site. So since this is view only, I'm going to choose view only and click create. And now again, as before, I can add new users to this group, remove users from the group, or view the group settings and permissions for this particular group. So as you can see, it's very easy and very simple way to share files and folders, uh, SharePoint sites as a whole, as well as create groups and set permissions. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next Office 365 tutorial from AT&T.